Welcome back. As always, it's me, Gary7MT, for the GTA series videos crew. And this time, I'll be guiding you on a journey into the Wild West. After a drought that lasted months for new news, Rockstar Games has finally released a new trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2. In a trailer video we'll analyze in a moment, initial story details have also been revealed. Our main character in this trailer is the outlaw, Arthur Morgan, a member of the Vanderlind gang. This confirms the previous leak about the game being a prequel to events in Red Dead Redemption. The same can't be said for another leak, which claimed the game will reprise the multiple character feature used in GTA V. Sure, this might be a trailer only presenting one of the main characters among the others, but we honestly don't know. The multi-character feature could also be similar to the one used in titles like Red Dead Revolver or Max Payne 2 where the players were able to control different characters based on the chapters of the story played. Now let's move on to the analysis and just as we've done in times past, instead of doing a classic frame by frame analysis, we're going to take all the scenes of characters, commonplaces, possible missions and similar content in order to analyze things better. As always, a big shout has to go to the guys over at GTA Forums and our Discord server for some of the details. Let's start with the scene showing the world created by Rockstar Games, and it's clearly huge. With a shot from the prairie to the mountains, we can already appreciate the vastness of the map. The second scene tells us that we will be able to find campsites in the world thanks to the column of smoke created by the fire. But it's the third shot that really explains how huge this world is. Our character is on the left riding his horse up to the mountain, while on the right we are able to see far, far away. One of the various leaks released in the past about this new chapter of the Red Dead series was the map of the world. And according to the guys on the GTA forums, this scene shows only a little portion of the game's enormous map. This is clearly a place that is going to help us navigate the map. Considering this nearly destroyed tree is going to be an easily recognizable landmark while galloping through the prairie. Or it's a scene where our group, or a group of marshals, considering they're all wearing bowler hats, is planning to hang someone. Certainly the shape of the tree is perfect for hanging some fool. Red Dead Redemption 2 is not the first Rockstar title to feature snow. The rendering of the snow, both in air and on the ground, is impressive. It reacts, forming streams when we walk and features snow that actually covers trees rather than simply coloring them white. Here we can see those details for which Rockstar Games is known. As the wheels of the coach turn, we can see mud dripping back on the ground. As it moves away, we can recognize a town we saw before in a shot released by Rockstar a little town possibly named Smithfields. On the left, there's the gunsmith and law office, while on the right, there's the doctor's office and saloon among the other buildings. Telegraph poles serve the main buildings and street lamps can be seen with lanterns. This is not going to be a small town. From the businesses of the main street, we move to a cemetery showing a woman dressed in black crying at the foot of what clearly is a new tomb. Different from the others, there's no grass on the ground and the soil is still freshly turned. Various scenes of the trailer focus on the wildlife, giving us a hint as to what kind of animals we're going to find in this world. First of all, you gotta love them horses. If you thought Red Dead Redemption's rendering of horses was on a level we'd never seen before, <laughs> just wait. Now the level of detail is truly mind-blowing, baby. From the vein pulsing along its legs to the flexing muscles that respond to the movement of the animal. In one frame we can even see a spurt of saliva from the horse's mouth when pushed to race. In this last scene, and let's not talk about the demonic horse face, we can see Morgan intent on probably taming a wild horse, a side activity also available from the first Red Dead Redemption. Hold on! Here we see a church bell tower with birds flying away as the bell starts to ring, while in the next shot, a boar is drinking on the river shore and immediately is attacked by an alligator. This 
as we said already in the analysis of the first trailer, is a new feature of the game, an advanced AI for animals that programs them to fight and act like in real life. That means they will interact among themselves and most probably against other NPCs. In the next shot, we can see Morgan using a weapon available in the first Red Dead, but not in Red Dead Redemption, the bow. Like in RDR, pelts and animal parts will probably be an important part of the game's economy. The use of a bow might indicate the intention to minimize damage to the pelt, since less damage means more money, as well as a more stealthy approach. In the next scene, we can see an attacking roaring bear. Fuck a bow, use the gun on this one. Rockstar has stated that in the game, we're in a gang of thieves, and in these shots, we can clearly see Morgan and the rest of Dutch's gang working together. The gang is complete, and every member is lurking in the shadows, waiting for a signal, probably from Morgan, who stops a train after parking a coach in the middle of the tracks. The sparks created by the wheels creaking over the rails are especially cool. With the conductor knocked out, we can see Dutch talking to someone who's not okay with the idea of being robbed. These scenes, like the one shown a few months ago, looks to be heavily based on the train robbery scene from the movie The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford, a movie that seems increasingly important as inspiration for the story of Red Dead Redemption 2. In three different scenes, we can see Morgan throwing a banker through a door and then opening four huge security doors with the help of an explosion. Thanks to the scenes, we can also set a specific time frame for this game. In this shot, we can see over the table of the bank a phone, an object in use after 1881 primarily by banks, foreign exchange agents, and train stations. Considering that the game is probably set before 1906 and surely after 1881, it's a safe bet that the game is set somewhere between 1881 and 1906. But who is Arthur Morgan anyway? Well, there is no information given about our character. All we know is that he was part of Dutch's gang, like John Marston. But there are no references to him in Red Dead Redemption, and to avoid any kind of spoilers, we won't say anything more. Arthur surely is no spring chicken, probably in his mid-30s or 40s. He looks loyal, but at the same time, looks like the kind of guy who would have no problem stabbing a brother in the back if that's what's best for his wallet. But this is just us overthinking. We have various scenes of Arthur wearing always the same hat, bandana, shirt, suspenders, and pants, but with different overcoats or none at all. In these scenes, he might be interacting with a character from a random event, while in this other, considering what he yells, the scene is probably taken from a story mission. Maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. As for Morgan's Southern American accent, it sounds more like a Louisiana Cajun accent than the Texan accent of Marston in the first game. Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Pa. Make a rancher of you yet. In the next scene, during the night, Arthur is using a knife to stealthily kill a lookout. Whether this is going to be a feature of the game or something tied only to a specific mission is unknown. Next scene, we see our character using two revolvers. Same model this time, different than what was shown before in a screenshot from Rockstar Games. A great little detail here is how Arthur closes his left eye to fire his revolver in his left hand. Let's move forward, and here we can see Arthur hitting a man on the ground with the butt of his rifle. What we love here are the details on the hands and the arm of the guy on the ground. It looks skeletal, perhaps burned. Lastly, we see our guy on a horse, aiming at an enemy or something on the ground, and shoot him with no mercy at all. With that said, let's talk about the other characters shown in this trailer, starting with the last one introduced, Dutch Vanderlyn. Here, we see a younger and better dressed Dutch. Despite being addressed as Dutch, we know that this guy is van der Linde thanks to the mole on his left cheek and the dimple in his chin. We see all the features that clearly identify this person as Dutch. The second character we'll discuss is a blonde girl tied in some way to Arthur. How is unknown, 
A lot of people are trying to figure out who this girl is, checking to see if she is some older character. She's not Barney McFarlane, and neither is she Abigail Marston. She's just a new character like almost all the others. The same goes for this Native American, clearly one of the members of the original Dutch gang, according to the artwork released months ago by Rockstar, but surely not anyone we later met in Red Dead Redemption. While trying to keep this analysis spoiler free, the only members known from Dutch's gang at the time of Red Dead Redemption are Williamson, Escuela, Dutch, and John Marston himself. And while we're talking about Williamson here on the left, we can clearly see Bill Williamson, while on the right, we have our character, Arthur Morgan. We can't really say who the guy in the middle is. It could be John Marston, as many of you think and probably hope, but honestly, he doesn't really look like him. One thing to note is here that the burning house behind the trio is the same house we can see on the right of this scene with Morgan intent in lassoing a horse. The rest of the trailer are moments probably taken from missions or activities. In the first, Morgan is talking to a young traveler in front of a poorly maintained house on the prairie. In the next, Morgan with another guy jumps on a running train when it exits the other side of a tunnel. The second character is a companion from what we understand, considering that Morgan helps the guy to get aboard the train after he slips off the roof. In the last of the scenes, the train has arrived at what looks like a mine, and here Morgan is focused on getting some info from some dude. In this scene, we can see Arthur getting his ass kicked by a guy who looks Irish in the middle of town. This is still probably Smithfields, the city shown before, but this time shown from the other side of the road, giving us an opportunity to see the church at the end of the main street. This could be a fight born in the saloon and taken to the street, maybe connected to a mechanic, similar to the one used in Red Dead Redemption when the player was caught cheating playing cards. In the last and final shot of this analysis, we see Morgan holding a lantern in front of two other characters walking in the middle of a swamp towards a pier with a building illuminated in the background. This is probably a moment connected to a mission where the trio has to reach the area and rob or do something while trying not to alert their enemies. And with that, we've completed our analysis. It's possible we may have missed some details, so if you find any more, feel free to leave a comment with your discoveries, ideas, and opinions about this analysis and Red Dead Redemption 2. For all the newest updates, keep following us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you want to chat with us or other players and fans of Red Dead, GTA, Bully, and more, join us on our official Discord server. From GTA Series Videos, this is Gary7MT, 